The truth behind free T-Mobile SpaceX Starlink service. Is it really free? Let's dive in. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of misty morning and that is it. So good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a technology T-Mobile SpaceX Starlink day. I kind of want to debunk something that I saw on the Super Bowl last night. There was an advertisement from T-Mobile that spoke about SpaceX Starlink and how every carrier, everyone can get the service for free. And uh, yeah, it, it's kind of for free, but it's not for free. I always thought, and I told you guys in many videos over the last 420 videos I've made on SpaceX Starlink, way back when this whole partnership started a year plus ago with SpaceX Starlink and T-Mobile, this joint venture. Well, at the time I said, you know what? I think that T-Mobile is just gonna give this service for free to everyone. That's just what they're going to do to kind of up their game to say, listen, we're better than all the rest of you. The other thing is, is we really didn't know how long this partnership was going to be. How long would they have exclusivity to the SpaceX Starlink network? So we got all this information and a lot more today that I wanna go over with you. I was reading a couple of articles. I wanna read some of that for you. And then I wanna give you let's say a little bit deeper dive into this. So you know exactly what's going on, all right? And you don't get fooled by advertisements and all the rest of this stuff, okay? We're gonna dig in a little bit. So wait for that by the end of this video. Before we get into this article and then my commentary, and then I wanna hear from you, I wanna just say that if you enjoy the video, even the least, throw it a thumbs up. That's so, so helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. If you are, I appreciate that. There's a little notification button here. Click on that, then click all. So when I go live on Friday nights at 8.30, be there, <laughs> JC Live Show, well, you'll be notified of it. You can come and join me. And if you just wanna say thank you for all of my hard work on this channel, there's a little thank you button. You can click on that. Give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's perfectly fine. This video is still free. <laughs> Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, check them out, they're free also at jchristina.com forward slash books. And finally, if you want more SpaceX content, specifically SpaceX Starlink, I put together a playlist. I'll put it, listen, don't click it yet. I put it over here, there's a little link. When you're done watching this video, go back to this spot, click on that link and you'll see, like I said before, 400 plus videos that I've put together for you over the last 40 months. Helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy, and of course the why behind all of it because this channel has always been and always will be about the why. So before I get into this article, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play the ad, probably get demonetized because that's what happens with YouTube, but it's important for you. I'm gonna play the ad from the Super Bowl and this way you get an idea of what was said and then we'll kind of dig in a little bit deeper. Anyways, let me roll. There are over 500,000 square miles of the US unreachable by any cell phone tower. Places where emergency texts it's okay, it's okay. never send, where emotional messages are not received and countless memories are left unshared. Doing good, you're doing good. But T-Mobile is about to change that. T-Mobile partnered with Starlink to launch hundreds of satellites, creating the only space-based network that automatically connects to the phone you already have. And because connection means everything, we're inviting anyone on any wireless carrier to experience it for free. You won't believe where I am right now. T-Mobile Starlink. If you can see the sky, you are connected. So there you have it. Kind of interesting, right? It's a good ad. I think it's a good ad. But my wife and other people that I spoke to have kind of taken it the wrong way. They expect to just get SpaceX Starlink service on their carrier, on their carrier phone. So let's say you're AT&T or Verizon or whoever, they expect for it to just simply work. T-Mobile is just gonna give it to you, right? 
it's kind of true and it's kind of not. And I'm going to get into that once again by the end of this video. So let's get into this article. And then once again, I'll give you my commentary. And then I want to hear from you down below. And if you're shy, you don't want to put something down there. That's fine. Put an emoji. That will make me happy. At least I know that you are here. A new era of connectivity, verification, and background. T-Mobile has officially begun charging for its Starlink-powered satellite connectivity, setting a monthly fee of $15 per month starting July 2025. There you have it. The service, which entered into its beta phase in early 2025, aims to eradicate mobile dead zones through a collaboration with SpaceX that was first announced in August of 2022. The birth of T-Mobile Starlink. The partnership promises to revolutionize mobile coverage by extending it to the most remote areas using SpaceX Starlink satellites as space-based cell towers, fundamentally altering our understanding of mobile connectivity. Beta testing insights. If you see the sky, you're connected. The beta test phase, free until July 2025, has received positive feedback for its texting capabilities, enabling service in areas like national parks where traditional networks falter. Most smartphones released in the last four years are compatible, requiring only a skyward view for connectivity. Performance has been promising with download speeds up to 17 megabits per second expected to improve as satellite constellation expands. Exclusive contract details. This exclusive deal with SpaceX is scheduled to end in 2026, after which SpaceX Starlink satellite service could potentially expand to other carriers like Verizon and AT&T. This is very important because I've asked this question ever since the beginning, August 2022, when we heard about this. I asked, well, how long will T-Mobile have exclusivity to this SpaceX Starlink DTC is what it is, or direct to sell service. And we really didn't have an answer until now. It seems like it's only going to be a one year contract. And then after that, SpaceX will be able to sell that service to other carriers like AT&T and Verizon and the rest of them. So that's really, really good information. Pricing and expansion plans. Once the beta period ends, the service will cost $15 per month, except for those on T-Mobile's Go 5G Next plan, where it's included. That's good to know also, where they said it was going to be free and we expect it to be free for everyone that has T-Mobile, the answer to that is no. You need to have the highest tier to be able to get it for free. If not, you're gonna be paying $15 per month. It continues, the initial service is focused on texting, but plans for voice and data are on the roadmap. Mike Sievert, T-Mobile CEO, said, quote, we're still in the early days, but we're officially putting no bars on notice. Dead zones, your days are numbered at the uncarrier. I don't know why they call it the uncarrier carrier. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it is what it is. Public impact. The service has captured the imagination of outdoor enthusiasts, emergency services, and those in rural areas, providing a vital lifeline in previously unconnected locales. Its beta launch during the Super Bowl has significantly increased public interest. Absolutely, that ad basically went viral. It is big. And the reason I think it's big is because it's not exactly correct, or it's kind of correct. It's worded in such a way that people believe that if you have AT&T or you have Verizon or whatever, you can use this service for free all the way to July 2025. And that's not really the case. It's kind of the case, but I think there's more to it. And once again, I'll get to that in just a second. How to join the beta. Participation in the beta is through an online signup form managed on a first come first serve basis. Currently, only text messaging is offered with future enhancements promised. Absolutely. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a link down below in the pinned comment as well as the description. So you can just click on that link and it'll take you straight over to T-Mobile's site to the form, let's say to fill that out if you wanna give this a try. The latest developments. 
As of this morning, T-Mobile has begun a campaign to demonstrate the service's reliability by showcasing real-life usage scenarios, including emergency communications during recent natural disasters. They will also start to integrate more devices into the beta, with notifications being sent out to users as their phones become compatible. Most phones are compatible. It's kind of, this is a, a non-story story there because listen, most phones, four years, five years, even six-year-old phones are compatible. If they're 4G LTE, for the most part, they're gonna work. Redefining connectivity with SpaceX Starlink. T-Mobile's partnership with SpaceX Starlink isn't just about expanding coverage, it's a game changer for mobile services. By introducing a $15 monthly fee, T-Mobile is paving the way towards a future where connectivity knows no boundaries, much like the sky itself. With the exclusivity of this collaboration drawing to a close, 2026, the world is abuzz with anticipation to what's next in the mobile innovation. You know, I, I agree with that. I think they're all in the buzz, not just for that, but also to see if their service provider is going to be able to get SpaceX Starlink once, once again, this contract is over in 2026. Now, let's break this down just a little bit, like I promised we would. We watched the video that was played or the ad over there on the Super Bowl, but of course that will probably demonetize this video, but that's okay. We watched that ad and we got all of that information. We also read through a multitude of articles and I gave you this information also. Now, a lot of this is correct and some of it is a little bit misleading. Now, originally I thought that the service would be free for everyone on T-Mobile and the truth of the matter is, it's not free for everyone. It is free if you have their premium plan, all right? Then it's free. Their Go 5G, Next, whatever. Then it's free. But if you have any one of their lesser plans, you're going to pay $15 a month extra. The reason they do that is they want to bump you into that higher tier, the max tier, so they get the maximum amount of money. The lower tiers are kind of almost like loss leaders to kind of bring you in. And then they get you into that top tier by offering you other niceties that will make you want to upgrade. So that is all okay. The problem that I have with it is in the ad, it's saying that everyone from any carrier is, they can just come aboard, sign up for our beta test and you'll be able to test it out. And the truth is, yeah, that's probably the case, but how is it done? It's not something like you're just going to continue to use, let's say, AT&T's network to use it because the FCC is not going to allow that, right? It doesn't work like that. You're going through T-Mobile's network, all right? Their spectrum. So what that means to me is you're not going to just be able to use it on, for example, your Verizon or AT&T phone. You're going to have to download something. What that something is is probably going to be an eSIM. And the reason I say this, and I didn't read it anywhere, is because how else are you gonna do it? How are you going to test their network from someone else's network? And remember, the someone else, like AT&T and Verizon, does not have this functionality. They are not connected to the SpaceX Starlink service. Now, like I said before about the FAA, if something was to happen, like a natural disaster, like they did with the two hurricanes that came through here, they opened it up to every carrier so everyone was able to use it. Now, how they did that, I don't know. Did they pay T-Mobile like some type of fee to be able to open it up for everyone? I don't know. But like I said to a good friend when we were out this weekend, I said, listen, there's no way for them to be able to say, you know what, if you're in this hurricane and you are flooded and you're on the top of your roof, well, the guy that has T-Mobile ends up rescued and the guy with AT&T or Verizon drowns, that would be a problem, right? So they had to open it up for everyone and I tested it out and it worked. I was sitting here in the office and through eight and a half inch poured concrete walls and a roof, I was able to text my wife next to me with no service at all and I had two bars inside two bars. Sometimes that's more service than I get from a tower that's about three miles away. Amazing to me. And that's from a satellite sitting at 550 kilometers. Unbelievable. Now, the thing here is, is that eSIM is probably going to be downloaded by you and you're going to have to install it. And when you want to test it, you're going to have to flip over to that eSIM. Now, do I know that this is the case? No. Did they say this is the case? No. But I don't see any other way of doing it. Maybe there is. I don't know. 
Now, to put a bow on this, the bottom line here is the service will be free until July 2025. But after that, if you do not have the top tier plan from T-Mobile, you're gonna pay $15 per month. And if you're with another carrier, you're not gonna be able to use it at all. Unless the FAA says you can because there's some type of disaster. That's another thing. So keep that in mind. It is not really free where we thought that it was going to be free. And I still do believe you're gonna to have to download something to actually test it out. The reason why they're doing this is they're hoping that once you test this out and you're on the T-Mobile network and it's working really well for you, you're going to convert from AT&T or Verizon over to T-Mobile. And I think there's going to be a lot of converters out there. People are going to move over to T-Mobile. I really do believe it because this is something that is really big. Unlike what Apple does with their SOS nonsense and their Global Star satellites, that really doesn't work that well. And if there is an emergency, you're outside trying to find a satellite like this to try to get anything to load or to send a text. With T-Mobile and SpaceX Starlink, as I said earlier, it works indoors. For me at least, once again, eight and a half inch concrete walls, poured concrete walls and a roof overhead it still worked perfectly with two bars. So this is a really big thing. So anyways, I wanna know from you, what do you think about all this? Are you excited about it? Do you think that this might be really great for you when you're out and about, maybe RVing or out there doing some type of cross country deal or you're in a rural area where you have spotty service and now all of a sudden you have connection. Like they said, there will be no more dead zones, period. And they meant it because SpaceX Starlink is everywhere. Anywhere on the planet, you should be able to text. Texting right now, video in the not so distant future, and then finally internet service, I believe in 2026. Once again, also 2026 is the end of life when it comes to T-Mobile. They'll probably still have connection, but they're not going to have that exclusivity that they currently have. Whereas you have to go through T-Mobile to be able to use SpaceX Starlink their DTC or the direct to sell service. Very interesting. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, throw it a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. And, and head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the many years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.